What I have here is an aquarium, but instead of being filled with water, this aquarium is filled with carbon dioxide gas. You see the dry ice at the bottom? That's solid carbon dioxide. In the presence of room temperature, solid carbon dioxide sublimates, which means it goes directly from the solid phase into the gas phase. So this dry ice has been filling the aquarium full of carbon dioxide gas. And you can see that by using a balloon. I inflated this balloon just by blowing into it. And you know what will happen if I release this balloon? It will simply fall. Why? Because the air inside plus the mass of the balloon itself makes a density that is greater than air. So since this balloon is more dense than air, it sinks when it's released into air. However, when released into carbon dioxide, it doesn't sink, it floats. That's because carbon dioxide is more dense than air. And even when you include the weight of the balloon in here, the total density of this balloon is still less than the density of carbon dioxide. So the balloon does not weigh as much as the carbon dioxide it has to displace by sinking into the carbon dioxide. So in the end, the balloon floats. Now that's not true for all gases. This is difluoroethane. This balloon is full of difluoroethane and its density is much greater than carbon dioxide. So when I release this balloon of difluoroethane into the carbon dioxide, it just sinks. So in the end, just like any other form of matter, gases have density. A less dense gas floats in a more dense gas. A more dense gas sinks in a less dense gas.